Picture me rolling. Are you rolling in a nice car? Looking for a used car can be easy and also harder than you might think. Not every car is perfect and there are some things that you're going to spot if you're looking for the perfect fit. Buying a used car can be exciting, but at the same time, exhausting. It's very satisfying to know exactly what you want and the type of car you're looking for. I cannot really answer that question for you. A car that I would look for is a sedan. It's a sporty looking car, which is a factor that personally appeals to me. Sedans are very good cars, like the Chevy Malibu, Ford Fusion, Toyota Camry, and the Honda Civic and Honda Accord. And also you can look for a great and reliable SUV, like a Chevy Equinox or Toyota RAV4. This is your choice. There are many differences throughout purchasing a vehicle from a dealer or a third party. If you buy a car at a dealership, the dealership themselves can go through the registration process of the purchased vehicle, getting your plates and sticker for the car to prove that it's passed inspection. If you are buying from a third party, you will have to make an appointment at the RMV to register your vehicle, get your plates, the title, your vehicle, if you want to sell it in the future, and also prove that the car is owned by you. There are a lot of different factors for buying a car. The exterior of a car does not always tell you everything about the car. You need to drive it around for a little bit, test the suspension, and feel the how the car turns. The car should feel natural and smooth to drive around, not super stiff, but at the same time, you also need to make sure the AC and heat works right for the winter and summertime. And of course, the car needs to be responsive with its brakes so you can slow down at any point in time. Well, you want to look for a car that you really like first, something you like the look of, a specific brand you want. Find something that's easy to repair and can use basic tools for every single time something might be wrong with the car. You don't always have to go to a dealership and pay them to fix the problem. You want to make sure to measure things down. One thing is you don't want to spend your entire college tuition on your car after graduation. It's very important to save your money. The ideal price range for a car, I would say, is the high the highest is $12,000. You may have to go over the price once you add up the taxes and the 62.5% tax Massachusetts takes when you're purchasing a new vehicle. And you should also be able to consider what you're going to pay for insurance once you figure that out. You likely won't fully pay for the car right away. Usually a dealer would be looking for a deposit up to $500, then later on you would gather the money to pay for the car outright. There are plenty of payments that you have to worry about when getting a vehicle. If you opt for the dealership option in terms of purchasing a car, there are multiple fees including electronic filing fee, the title, inspection, and the regular fee, the 6.25% tax, which makes a car a few extra hundred dollars. For younger drivers, insurance costs are very high because of the younger people's inexperiences on the road. Remember, having your license isn't a pleasure, it's a privilege. And stay safe on the road.